Hi guys and welcome to your July 2020. This is going to be the what aren't they telling you three in one reading for the beautiful sign of Taurus. Finally. Hi Taurus. Now I messed up on you guys because I, well not you guys, you know, you guys were, you were number one. So with you guys being in the top three, I had an unexpected visitor that came into town for my birthday on June 30th and a couple days prior to that. I had got you guys as done and had scheduled out like I normally do the rest of the Zodiac signs and couldn't get to them. I never do that. Like this is definitely Mercury retrograde. And I didn't announce it. I just left. Only three videos was up for like six days was you guys. <laughs> and nobody sent me an email and asked me anything. Oh, my God. So, Taurus, you, Capricorn, and Libra were the only one that actually got a June three-in-one. I'm pretty sure I did that. Yes. So this is going to be your July three and one, and we're going to be doing the, what aren't they telling you? But since yours, I actually did give you a June, <laughs> a June 21st through the 27th. What aren't they telling you? It's strange. So your timeline is going to be a tad bit different. Take it as it resonates. If you are new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. And if you are subscribed to the tribe and what's good, fam, fam bams, and hello to my members. So I have already given you that week, okay? Then we had the 28th through yesterday. That's a week or time frame that didn't get covered because when I bring you your messages, your new messages in a couple days, that's going to be from the 5th through the 11th. So let me go really quickly and look at those videos. I don't want any gaps. And all right, so here is Taurus. So that video was from the 21st through the 27th. So we're going to do from June 28th all the way until July the 4th, which was yesterday. I hope it doesn't matter to you about the extra day overlap because, uh, yes, today will be covered. Okay. So thank you. <laughs> thank you, Taurus, for allowing me look at that. Like, oh my God. So that's what I'm going to do. Your timeline is not going to be as the other ones because I did give you that week, but that's okay. I'm still going to give you a three in one because that not, that's not fair, but you are the only three that has a three in one for June and July. So extra messages to say, thank you for all of your views. You guys are my top view, uh, one of my top views, Zodiacs all the time. So it was a pleasure for me to do it again. Everybody else is up. Now I'm just dealing with my top three. I should get all of those uploaded by today. And that will be that. The 1111 portal is was not open yesterday. <laughs> so just give me a minute. Okay. It has been a crazy week with the holiday and visitors unexpected coming in. So that's how we're going to do that. So thank you so much, Taurus. We're going to do again your what aren't they telling you? Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you for your happy uh, belated birthday wishes. I didn't announce it. It's not like it's a lot to do. Um, and I really just planned on working so I can at least have a piece of a day of, to relax. But didn't work that way. So I did enjoy it. And let's keep going. So everything that you need from me is below, Taurus. Um, everything will be time stamped. And we're going to go ahead and get started, lovelies. All right? Show, oh, show me spirit. Somebody is up at night. Boom. So you're, you're causing somebody a great deal of anxiety, my beautiful Taurus. Let's find out what they're not telling you. They feel like you have options, honey. Ooh -wee. Yes, we are using the illuminated tarot because it's just easier for me to get Oh, but they love you. Ten of Cups in the Heart of the Matter as well as the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. 
Okay. July 2020 will be the other ones. This will be your, again, 28th through yesterday, 28th of June through July the 4th. Show me, Spirit. What are they telling Taurus? Oh, my goodness, Taurus. Look, you got, oh, uh, honey, you must have broke up with this person. And the heart of the matters is the Ten of Cups. Okay, next to that is the Ten of Pentacles. So this is the ultimate commitment, want to be with you. Can we be together? Oh, my goodness. Show me, spirit. What's <gasps> justice of the peace? There is something in this energy between you and this person that makes them so afraid. Oh, my God. The top of the deck is the strength card, a new passionate beginning. Um, with the ace of wands here, which is also strength. So first and foremost, we have being up at night in the nine of swords energy. Um, there is something that has taken place between you guys that has put this person in a great deal of anxiety. Um, they're losing sleep. Honestly, what I am seeing though, in just having these two cards together, I, I don't know. I really feel like this is them. Um, I don't know, and I'm going to, we're only clarifying the heart place, Taurus, okay? They're afraid, they're, uh, you, listen, I get this two ways. They're interpreting the fact that you may have options in this seven of cups, but I know that they know that that's not true because you're a Taurus and when you choose, you choose, and you don't waste your time choosing an option that's not going to bring you the security and the ten of pentacles that you need. So I feel like they're creating things in their mind. And I know that that is the truth because I do have the eight of swords here, which is also justice. This person is deeply in love with you, sees you as a part of their future and wants to marry you. The problem is, is they're afraid of rejection. They think that they're not good enough because they know how great you are, Taurus. I'm telling you, with the wheel of fortune in the chain, in, in the change, in the heart of the matter section, that means to me that you guys are about to advance to the next level if you allow this relationship to keep going, okay? This is a condensed version of the what aren't they telling you. Full version will be back next week. So, really quick in a snapshot, the fear that they have created, they have created in their own mind. You do love them, but yes, there has been some things that is not shown here that has taken place to make them feel this insecurity of you having other options. Now, I do feel like it could be in the way that you speak. It's not here, um, but I know that Taurus energy so well, and if it doesn't suit you, and if it, if it doesn't make sense to what you think is going on and you did then it, it if it doesn't make dollars it doesn't make sense basically and i don't mean that in an arrogant way but you're well aware that the options in the seven of cups are not viable but what you're not going to do is waste your time in something that's not going to bring you a ten of pentacles that's not going to bring you a ten of cups okay and they know that so, um, you know, I think that what has been what they're afraid of possibly is that they completely submit everything to you. And what ends up happening is, is that you won't love them for the, for the long haul. This seems to be um, some insecurity within themselves. I don't have evidence here. Um, and again, it's not shown. That doesn't mean it doesn't exist. But I don't have evidence here, Taurus, that this person... Um, that this particular person, that you've done anything to make this person feel this way, um, per se. Now, if they're coming up this way and I see what they're, what they aren't telling you, I, I know that it has something to do with thoughts, ideas, or some exchanging of things that has went back and forth between you guys, because this justice card, um, these Libra scales right here is also the eight of swords and this anxiety is also the, um, well, it's the nine of swords is anxiety. It's not a blended card, but so I know that there's been some things that has taken place between you guys, but it hasn't been anything that is real. 
It's misunderstandings. It's things that have been put out there. It's things that are not being shown. But the energy around you guys are absolutely beautiful. So there could be some things that have off put this person and made them think that you, you look at them as an option. But what they aren't telling you is that they want you guys to come out of this, um, this confusion because you got a 10 of, a 10 of cups, a 10 of pentacles and a brand new passionate beginning with the ace of wands. And that is also strength. Okay. That's passion. Claire. Okay. Thank you. Spirit. Well, guess what? Soulmate pop right out. That's clarifying my 10 of cups and or the wheel of fortune. Your romantic wheel of fortune is attorney. This is what popped out. I'm going to allow it. That's passion. Um, and then there are possibly some hill and family issues that has taken place that need to be healed with between you guys. You know, when I see soulmate, even in the condensed versions, I pull a sacred soulmate card. Let's find out. So now this card should definitely let me know some of the underlying issues that is not being shown in these five cards. Um, but I do know how they feel and they love you absolutely to death. They feel like you're their soulmate and they really want to take this to the height, the next level. Um, but they're scared to death. <laughs> They are scared. They're scared of you, Taurus. I don't know what you guys have done. I know you don't play. Trust me. I got it in my chart. Um, and it can be a little intimidating. New beginnings, honeys. Okay. I, I'm not looking at the top yet. Letting go, change, move forward, risk and opportunities. Okay. And then we're going to take a look at the top, which is true love. This is a divine connection. Taurus, I can't even with you guys. You just come along and change the whole, I mean, everybody has been, you know, it, it hasn't been extremely romantic, but it's been such a crazy uh, week and you come right out the bat with new beginnings and love. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my God. Destiny. Look at that. This is destiny. It keeps calling me. Now it's me and you. Mm, mm, mm. Well, that's what's going on. You and me and this whatever, whatever you want it to be. I swear when I see that destiny. So this person wants a new beginning. They want to let go of the past and they want a new beginning with you guys. Show me spirit for Taurus and their partner, what aren't they telling them? Give me an oracle card. Look at all of these. What's that? Blessed. Look at that. 22. I don't know what two means to you individually or another two means to you individually. I don't know, Taurus, but I will say to you, we're going to be dealing with the sum of both of those tools, which is four. This is about foundations. This is about examining those foundations and ensuring that this 10 of cups and this 10 of pentacles can be built upon a foundation that is solid, darling. But you are blessed because this person loves you. Something wonderful is unearned and unexpected. Grace that is unforeseen gift for, from spirit. And what I am seeing is you are moving into a deeper a deep, you're moving toward a deepening of intimacy in a unique and sacred partnership. You know that I can't even make this up. You know that you are meant to make this connection. This union is blessed by divine. Oh my God. This union is blessed by divine and it will bring transformation and beauty into the world. Oh my goodness. You are meant to make this connection. Look what popped out. Oh, this is also a sign that even more important, you are being called to a deeper intimacy within yourself and spirit. This is a new development and you will see evidence of it in your grace. You are about to, and I'm just letting you know, 
the both of you guys together. I never do this, but that right there, unexpected windfall. Something if you guys are together um, with this person and you're expecting some money or he's expecting some money or she's expecting some money. Oh, my goodness. Wow. I don't even know what to name this. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. This is beautiful. Like, this just made my morning. Oh, my goodness. I'm so happy to be able to bring it to you, Taurus. I cannot wait to get this uploaded. You guys are going to love this. I hope it resonates. Um, and even if it doesn't, even if it doesn't, don't be negative. Just say, you know, just 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 throw me a praying hand. Just throw me a, point, a praying hands here because somebody needs this message. This is beautiful. Yes, there's been some stuff, <laughs> of course, just like with everything. But this is such a blessed union, guys. You and this person are a couple, like a power couple. You guys are going to have an unexpected windfall of money, abundance. You guys might buy a home. You're going to get married. Ooh, we. It's so many beautiful things that are coming towards you if you accept them. So um, I'm going to name it something. I just don't know what to name it because I'm so overwhelmed right now. So like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. I certainly hope that resonates. Just say you bless. You, 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 you claim it. You claim this reading for yourself. Um, we're going to go into your singles reading now. So thank you so much. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Everybody else, I'll see you in the next couple of days. Taurus, I'm sure you'll be getting a brand new um, video from the 5th through the 11th of July anyway, because you, you guys normally are in the top three. So we'll see what happens in a couple of days. But for now, I have other videos to do. I will see you guys then. Bye, Taurus. Hi, guys, and welcome to your... Oh, okay. July 2020, this is going to be the three-in-one reading for the beautiful sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Hey, Taurus. Certainly hope this message finds you guys well and in good spirits. All right, so we're going to be taking a deeper dive and seeing what's coming towards you for your singles energy, single Tauruses, and seeing what's going on. The what aren't they telling you was beautiful. Um, so let's see where you are. If you are a Taurus that is single and oh, okay, and see where you are and what's coming towards you in love. If you're new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. If you are subscribed to the tribe and what's good, fam bams, and hello to my members. Show me spirit and it is timestamp. Now judgment, the 10 of swords. So you are completely stressed out um, and... I hope that this isn't one of those single readings, Taurus, that's going to turn into a, a couple's reading or a breakup reading, um, because obviously this is Mercury retrograde and there's been a lot of that going on. Show me spirit. Show me what do we have? We have, yep, a difficult opponent, the five of swords, lies, tricks, cheats, and deceits. Um, it looks, that's, that's what it's looking like. Okay. So show me spirit. So right now, let's see what's in your heart. Your heart is, um, an offer that person, this is your card. That's your ruler. It is the queen of cups, but in this particular deck, it is the empress. So in your heart, you nurture, you, you long for a new beginning. Um, let's see, cause we're going to clarify the heart place, but let's see if you want to move out of this with, or you want this person or you want a new beginning, you want an offer. So it could be that you want this particular person. Let's see what we got. Show me spirit. And I knew that was going to happen. Of course the, Oh, the uh, crown move. That is so weird. <laughs> it came whoop, flying forward. Okay. That's what we got going on, guys. Seven of Wands. So you guys are not necessarily broken up. You're not. 
you have love for this person in your heart, Taurus, but you feel cheated by something that you want to happen. And I think it's this offer. You want a commitment. And, and I don't necessarily blame you. This is going to drive me nuts. I don't blame you for that. You're not the type of energy that wastes its time in something that's not going to give you the security that you think that you need. So, um, sorry for fidgeting. The top of the deck is the Knight of Wands. That's why I'm saying that. Okay. You deem this Knight of Wands as very fickle. You deem this Knight of Wands as a person that lies, tricks, cheats, or deceits. That person chases its tail. They're full of passion, but their passion is in all of the wrong parts. Where they should be focused on you, they're focused on other things and you are standing your ground about this. But the thing about it is, Taurus, is that you really do love this person. The hope that you want is the birth of a new beginning between you guys for this particular set of Tauruses. Um, and you have a judgment energy here that's saying, stay put. You have a judgment energy that's saying, that's telling you something. Let's find out. Hold on. Yep, stay. <laughs> I knew it. Worth waiting for. Don't leave yet. And stay optimistic. The situation is not unfolding in the time frame that you would like. But the situation is unfolding in the time frame that is divinely uh, better for you. Do you understand what I'm saying? So what's happening here is that I'm actually going to go in with um, the spiral to row because I'm going to clarify this five of there's not there's not anything here to cooperate um, whether they are cheating or not. I want to know. I feel like I want to de I want to determine whether it's you just feel cheated or they actually cheated. You see what I'm saying? Clar clarify the five. That's a burden. Okay, thank you. Show me spirit. Clarify this five of swords. Six of cups. You do feel like this is your soulmate. It's not telling me enough yet the chariot. So I don't have enough evidence showing that that's what they're doing, that they did anything. It could have given me anything and it gave me these cards. It's letting me know how much you feel so strongly connect, 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 connected Taurus to this person. And it is an extreme stress of yours, but you're still being guided not to leave. Um, since I did get the six of cups as a soulmate, that's what I'm going to take. And I'm going to go ahead and get a sacred soulmate for you. This energy chases its tail and that pisses you off. Lessons of Uranus. Radical attraction and sexual pull come with inconsistency and detachment. A theme of freedom or commitment, no expectations are the best expectations to have. Yes. Dreams, important dream messages are being given. So Uranus um, is very much so present between you guys. This is the push and pull that you guys have. Sexual pull come with inconsistency and detachment. Um, I do see that a little bit. Okay. That's the five of, that's what that five is about. It's not about anybody else. It's about the fact that um, 
you're pretty much being guided that it's best to not have any expectations, but it's hard for you as an earth sign not to go into something with someone that you love with no expectations about something that you want. That's weird as hell to you. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You're being guided not to leave. To just wait. Show me, spirit. Thinker. 44. We have no fours in the foundation. Uh, we have no fours in, the, in this energy, and we don't have an eight. So what is the sum? Okay. The sum. Eight. Thinker. You're thinking about your security. You're thinking about your emotional foundations. You're thinking about all of these things. I think, Taurus, that you know that you can be a certain type of way with this person. I just think that when it comes down to the way in which they move, it does not give you the security that you need. Uh-oh. The security that you need in order to feel okay about this. Um, yet... You know, it's hard for anybody not to have expectations. Uh, you know, um, even me, myself, I understand. It's very, very hard not to have expectations when you give so much. If you're one of those people, and I hate to say this, but I think the population is divided amongst two groups, those that give and those that take. So if you are a taker, then you tend not to have any expectations because you're going to take and just keep going to take from the next person. But if you are the giver in the situation, you have expectations because you would like some reciprocal type of behavior. And typically those who give fall in this category where you feel like all of the other things between you guys are so good. Um, but this person just does not want to give back. And as a Taurus, I can I can deeply understand where you're coming from because there is a certain amount that you want back. And I don't necessarily think you expect it, but you expect it because to you is normal. So it's not like you sitting around like, yep, I bought this. You need to buy that. It's not that stupid to you. It comes so natural. It's like, OK, well, what's wrong with being thoughtful what's you know especially when you love someone when you care about someone the way you care about this person and for it not to come back to you it's very hard for you to deal with that and people that are used to taking or putting themselves in a situation where they always do their own thing because they don't have to so they don't have to ask anybody for anything uh, for fear of rejection you do realize that that's what people do now there's a difference between codependency and having that particular mentality and the difference between independent having that mentality. If you're independent, you're cut that way. It's not that you don't want to ask anybody. You don't want to wait. You're going to do it yourself. But codependent people that don't want to ask anybody, unfortunately, they're doing that out of a fear of rejection. Just saying. Strategy, being analytical and logical. Love is not logical. I say that all the time. And you know what? This is my first time even recognizing that that's what the first line of this card is. I got the line from Sex in the City. Carrie told Miranda that love was not logical when she was trying to figure out whether she was going to take Steve back. Love isn't logical. I hear that a lot. I've had to deal with that a lot because that's my earth and my chart. Well, when you choose a partner, it is good to have things in common other than desire. Lessons of Uranus, okay? This is a time to weigh the pros and cons of this partnership. If there isn't enough common ground, if there is enough common ground, go for it. But if not, there are other fish in the sea. Don't force it to work. Oh, my God. And others should, not, uh, and others should tell you who they are. And sh wait, and should others tell you who they are, take them at their word. Now is not the time to indulge in the fantasy. No matter what, in this case, facts are the facts. Now, here is the thing. You're supposed to take things at face value and follow a logical path. Your calculations will prove to be correct for this 
for in this moment there are deeper meanings that is obvious things are exactly as they seem you have all the information you need keep it simple and you will win the game you are of life that you are playing right now and that's my that's my whole thing and this is exactly what makes sense to you if it walks like a duck and it quacks like a duck Taurus it's a duck you don't force it so although you may be longing for this person I think that oh, you're okay with understanding because I know if this was a breakup, you initiated it because there was something that didn't, that, that just didn't add up. I know that. So I want to know how you guys feel about this one. This, this was a good one. This is, yeah. So, um, this is what you're dealing with right now for your singles. And you know, you know, you have to get this energy away from you in order to attract new love towards you. So I can't wait to read it next month to see what we got, okay? Um, but if it does resonate with you a little bit and you still want to know what's coming towards you, um, and this comes out a lot in my client readings. Marv, I want to know what's coming toward me. But if you just broke up with this person and you're still thinking about this person and you desire this person in your heart, nothing is coming towards you but more thoughts of this person because you have to properly cleanse that out. So if this is resonating with you, today is the full moon. Write that shit down, burn it and get it out, get it off of you. If you want information on how to do that, email me. Um, hopefully I can get back to you. Um, and that's what we need to do. But you still pretty much have this person in your, in your brain. Um, so you have all of the information that you need. Make the decision that's best for you. Okay. Like the, like the description say, you have all of the information that you need. There's no need. And, and normally you don't do that, but you're human too. Okay. So go through the facts, comb through the shit, cut through the BS. I need to stop cursing. And then that's your answer. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Thank you so much, Taurus. I will see you guys in the next video. Let's find out what's going on with you in career. Bye guys. Hi guys. And welcome to your July 2020. This is going to be the three in one reading for the beautiful sign of Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is going to be the career, work, and money section of your reading. If you're new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. And if you are subscribed to the tribe and what's good, fam bams, and hello to my members. All right, Taurus, let's go ahead and close you out. All right. Universe, ooh, spirit, angels, and my guys go ahead and lift my beautiful Tauruses up. Okay. And spirit, let us know what surrounds them in their work, career, okay, or money sections of their lives. What do we show? Okay. All right. So there is... Two that fell out at the same time. Timestamp now. Three of wands. And we also have the four of wands. So it looks like you are actively working towards something that's going to make you very, very happy. You have your eyes on the prize and you're set. Setting yourself up for exploring some uncharted territory. Your 1111 doesn't always have to be romantic. It could definitely be abundance, career, and money, okay, type situations. Um, if you saw that three, that, hold on, that three of wands with the tools at the bottom, okay, those tools is all about exploring and doing something that you wouldn't normally do to get toward something that you need, although that is clubs or and or wands. Um, doing something different in order to achieve different results, okay? And that is what I show is surrounding you there. And in the heart of the matter, it looks like we have the Knight of Cups. Um, so I believe in your heart has been an uphill battle. Um, and just like these fish, some swim upstream and some sw swim downstream, which indicates that there has been ups and downs in your career. Now, typically you're pretty stable, 
but your heart is saying that you want something a little bit more. And according to this four of wands energy, you want it to make you happy. Um, and it's going to take a nice amount of courage with that queen of wands. So you're really being guided to do something different. There's a lot of wands here, a lot of fire surrounding your career. I don't see as many pinnacles um, as I would normally, uh, as I would like to see. Um, so, you know, it could be you want to do everything. I haven't showed you the last card yet, but top of the deck is the seven of cups. It could be that you want to do everything, but unfortunately you can't. Okay. Last card is the nine of swords. Um, so something is definitely keeping you up at night and tugging at your heart. Um, so ultimately it's, it's looking as if your happiness is lying in the fact that you need to do something different. This is very much so an energy of doing the same thing and expecting different results. Taurus, you're being guided to move out of this energy. You're being guided here that it's going to take a great deal of courage because this three, this three of clubs or three of wands, you want to do something very, very much so different. That's going to bring you a little bit of, of happiness, a little bit more happiness in your heart. Um, you're ready to embark on this, okay? You're ready to embark on it. You have a leg up, 34, seven is here. So that's the seven, the sum of three and four, and we do have seven actively in your reading, okay? So I know that when it comes down to this leg up, the challenge and keeping the leg up is that you have too many options and not all of these options are viable. I don't see any pinnacles here. Um, so for some of you guys, you may be Taurus sun, but you may have something else. You're just unfulfilled at work. It's not giving me strong information as far as your money. Um, from a standpoint of, uh, telling you what's coming towards you, it looks like everything is pretty steady. Career is going off without a hitch. Workplace seems to be going off without a hitch. Um, and so money seems to be just fine. I mean, this is still good energy for money. It's just not pentacles, which doesn't necessarily mean anything. So I do see good energy surrounding that area of your life, those particular areas. But I do feel like what is stopping you from, from exploring the areas or avenues that you want to explore, the only thing that's stopping you is you. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at what leg up mean. Receiving help, delegating authority, and interdependence. Okay. Now is the perfect time to seek advice from a mentor or business advisor who has been where you want to go to help you get there. I told you there's something that you need to do. You will receive very good counsel that will aid you in your prosperity. It ha it may also be the case that your endeavors have grown and you're in a position where you just can't do it by yourself anymore. I tell people all the time, Taurus, that the sign of a good leader is delegation. It is. You have to be able to trust. And I know that that is hard. Um, so if that's what you're doing here, I really don't think it's that for some of you. I feel like you're trying to go somewhere else and go down an avenue and explore and, 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 and and in exploring that avenue, you need to get help from someone else as if the as what the spirit is saying here. Time to bring on those who can give you a leg up. OK, trust that help is available and it will also indeed appear. Delegate authorities to others so you can take the step toward your big dream. The perfect people will arrive at the perfect time. So in doing so, you step forward with just a mustard seed of faith. OK. So you have to delegate this. This needs to be, um, you want to do everything. I knew it. You just can't do it. You're only one person. Okay. Um, in order for you to reach the success and, and, and step out into the unknown, you're going to have to delegate, um, and, and surround yourselves around people that can help you in order to, to reach the goal of your big dream. I love this for you guys. Everything is steady. You don't have any complaints here. 
but you have to figure out how to get from where you are now to go bigger. And you're exploring in that three of wands. So that is your card. Seven is here. It's all about choices. It's all about understanding that all of those options may not be viable. Aligning yourself with the right people. Understanding that help is there for you. Delegating so you can focus your time on the bigger fish and delegate the small things. I love this for you, Taurus. So if you're going into business for yourself, congratulations. I love this for you for July. Thank you so much for showing up. Um, and I will see you guys here next week. Yes. Well, I guess this week or technically is next week when we do it again. You and I will see you guys next month when we do another three in one reading for you. Thank you so much for being patient and allowing me to take that extra day to give you those messages. I will see you guys next month. Bye bye.